Hey, welcome back to this channel and who is excited? Of course, we have a new tutorial series and this is one of the things that a lot of persons have been asking me to make for a couple of time now. So I'm so excited that I'm finally bringing it to you guys. So what is this whole tutorial series all about? You know, one of the major difficulties that a lot of persons face is the ability to be able to hook up their app with their firebase database and also bind their recycler view or their list view to their firebase database such that any change that you make on your firebase database is automatically resolved on your recycler view and also if you make a change on your recycler view if possibly delete an item or add a new item it automatically saves or updates on your firebase database so a lot of persons used to find this whole process quite challenging and that is about to end by the time you're done with this tutorial series you're going to be able to know every single thing you need to be able to build an incredible and real life application using xamarin and firebase if this is your first time here on this channel please consider subscribing and hit the notification button so that you can always get notified whenever I make this kind of video. And also another major challenge that a lot of people face is how to search. So imagine that you have a pool of data from your Firebase database. How are you going to search out the real item that you need, the particular item you're looking for? In case you're looking for um, student that his name is Edward or Caleb how are you going to find it out in a pool of hundreds of records so also in this tutorial series you're going to be learning how to use link queries link stands for language integrated query it comes with C by default and it is really a powerful tool for creating search and queries using C -sharp. So first things first, I'm going to give us a full walkthrough of what we are going to be building in this series. So in front of me is an app. Of course, the app is completed, but I'm going to walk us through on how to build it. So this is an app that actually keep records of alumni that just finished from a school. So here I have four records. And if I pull up my Firebase database, you can see the four records here as well. So what's going to be happening is that from this app, we should be able to create a new alumni. So let's say this alumni's name is Edward, Edward Mark. So I can put his department. Let's say his department is um, human resources. The set of he or she graduated from. So let's say he graduated in 2014 set. And the category, is he graduated, undergraduate, or dropped out of field? I think this guy graduated, right? So that's all the information I need to provide. So this is more like exemplary, right? So you can go ahead and add more data points. You can go ahead and add more fields and that's okay. So guys, I need to call your attention to this. So when you're done filling the data, you're gonna go ahead and click on submit. So it will ask you whether you want to submit this information, bam. So as you can see, Edward Mark was automatically added to our list and also, if I pull up my Firebase database, you can see that a new record has been created for me. And this is Edward Mark. And this is for creating a new record. If I want to delete a record, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this button, this delete icon here. So I want to delete the second record, which has the name Jumbo. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button. It will ask you whether you're sure. And if we're sure, we're going to just go ahead and say continue. Boom, you can see that Jumbo just vanishes. And also if we open a Firebase database, we only have four records now instead of five and Jumbo has been deleted successfully from our database. As you can see that from here, we no longer have Jumbo. So this is just one part of it. And also if I go to my Firebase database and delete any record, it will automatically delete from our list. It will automatically vanish from our list. Okay guys, so let's see how that works. So I'm going to pull up my Firebase database. So I'm going to try to minimize this. I'm going to push this over. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the first record, which is this. Boom. It automatically vanishes from my list. So I'm going to do the same thing for the second record. Boom. It automatically vanishes. So now the next important thing we need to learn is how to search with query right so i'm going to go ahead and search for uchenna all right so i want to retrieve this student 
China. So this search is actually more like an omni search, right? It searches through every single field you have on your database. If you want to query for aluminite with the set to 2012, you can go ahead and do that and search 2012. As you can see, it retrieves Uchena because Uchena set is 2012. In that same way, you can search for graduated students. As you can see, it started retrieving alumni that have their status as graduated. And we can do the same thing for departments. I could just go ahead and search human resources. So you can see that Edward Mark appears because his department is human resources. So you can see that you can query all the fields that you have. So I'm going to search for field alumni. As you can see, Caleb appeared because Caleb field. His status is filled. So this search is really powerful and is made possible with link and it's really powerful. It serves all the purpose and you can pretty use it anywhere. If you're really excited, like I said, stick around and this is what we are going to be building in the next couple of tutorials and I really hope you're excited. So if you are and if not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button and I will see you soon. Thank